All right. Hey, guys. And uh, welcome to day 28. Yes, day 28 of the 30 days motion retention challenge. And it's also the last day for, you know, the video series that I started on Saturday. So it's been about uh, six days now. Yeah, six days. So yeah, so today, like I mentioned in the email, today is the last day of the video series. And also, yeah, the last day for you guys are going to be getting two more emails from me, you know, one tomorrow and then another one. Um, and then another one on the final day, on day 30th, which is a Saturday. Hi, Majority. Thank you so much for joining live. Okay, so quick intro. For those that are watching me for the very first time, hi, welcome. My name is Adiola, and I help foresee naturalists to learn all about moisture retention tips and also hair growth tips. So uh, this video series is brought to you by my Coils and Glory Apparel Store. You can find it on Etsy, and the link to the store will be posted below this video at the end of the live video. So I'm just gonna do a quick uh, model. So um, this t-shirt, I wore it. Uh, this is my third day wearing this t-shirt, and I do have another t-shirt, which is actually my best-selling t-shirt. So this is, you know, the Afro pop girl with sunglasses. So this is just a quick, um, yeah. So just, you know, show you how it looks like. And uh, yeah, so I actually have over 100 designs now on my Etsy store. Uh, it's crazy. And I do have a few more that I'm working on. And that, uh, you know, in the next few weeks, I'm going to be adding more to the Etsy store. But yeah, but the link below this video will take you right to the Etsy store where you can, you know, get yourself a t-shirt. And my t-shirts are actually quite affordable. I have t-shirts starting from like twelve ninety five, and then I get I give free shipping if you order at least fifty dollars I believe and then if you buy two or more t-shirts you get I believe ten percent off so guys I have you know a lot of um, incentives on the store okay so today I'm going to be sharing the final uh, tips moisture retention tips and so like the title says it's you know the last part part four out of four, because four days ago on Monday, I started the four part series. So I've already shared 15 tips so far on the video series. And obviously I'm sure way more than that, you know, during this 30 days moisture retention challenge. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, so let me just quickly go and um, open up today's um well my notes for today which you guys obviously can't see because this is only for my eyes all right so what is this thing so as usual we guys have any question about you know the challenge the series so somebody sent me an email i believe yesterday or maybe today asking for something which i wasn't really sure but when you guys send me a message email or whatever yeah please be as detailed as possible because i do have quite a bunch of things going on and so you know if we can be as detailed as possible that will help me a lot right and as usual, if you have any questions that relates to any of the videos, just, you know, comment below each video. And then I usually respond to my uh, comments, you know, um, you know, very quickly. But then again, that all depends on, like, you know, how straightforward and how easy um, that question is. Okay. So I thought I had this thing open. Okay. That's it. So while I uh, while I open up this note here, so two things to note, right? Two things to note, you know, um, over the next, actually, I'll say just one week, right? Will be so on Friday, right? I'm gonna be opening up an early bird enrollment to my course, uh, moisture retention blueprint, and then um, initially I was supposed to go live on Saturday. March 30th, but I, then I decided to push it to next week because I do have a few things that I'm working on for uh, this weekend, actually. So I'm like, okay, let me give myself enough time to put the content together and also to let you guys know, right? So you can, you know, so you, you can have more time to, you know, to, you know, clear up your schedule and, you know, to make it for it. So next week, Tuesday, so April 2nd at 7 p.m. Eastern time, yeah, so 7 p.m. Eastern time, that's when I'm going to be putting on the webinar. And for those who, you know, 
live in a different, what do you call it, and in different time zone, you guys can always watch the replay. Yeah, initially I was supposed to do the webinar on Saturday at 12, but then I thought about it today, and I'm like, okay, maybe I should just, you know, push it, in, you know, a few more days so that, you know, I have it enough time. Even though I do have the slides, I have everything all ready to go, but I'm not really sure why I'm not even giving the webinar on Saturday. Maybe it's because I have a few other things that I'm also working on. But yeah, so on Tuesday, April 2nd at 7 p.m. Yeah, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Eastern time, I'm going to be doing live. I'm going to be doing a webinar. So webinar is a little bit more different because I have, you know, the PowerPoint slides. And oftentimes I will go backstage to present the workshop. So that's going to be on Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And also on Friday, I'm going to be opening up early bird enrollment to Marshall Retention Blueprint. I've already had you know, a few people sign up for the waiting list. So I'm going to be sending everybody. Um, I'm, I'm going to be sending everybody um, details to it. OK, so somebody just asked me about a link to the Etsy shop, which Makes sense because I'm not really sure why I always uh, post it last. It's because most times I have a few other things to post. But let me just post the link to the Etsy store right here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so I always post the link to the Etsy store in the description box below every video. But for some reason, I'm trying to post this one, but it's not going through. Hmm. Okay, so I think maybe this is why I always post everything at the end because I'm not sure why this link isn't going to work. Hmm. So, Majori, I'm trying to post the link now to my Etsy store, but oh, okay, there it is. Okay, so you just went through. Oh, perfect. Okay, all right, so you should have the link right there. So, I'm just going to click on it just to make sure it's the proper link. Okay. So, all right, everything seems to be working. So yes, right now I have pretty much over 100 designs and I'm also uploading my eBooks as well to my Etsy store. Cause I wanna, you know, cause I'm revamping my other store right now. Cause I might close it down and open up another store. So I'm pretty much moving everything over. <laughs> moving everything over to my Etsy store cause I've had a store for a number of years now. All right, so many grand, what is the best product for thinning hair? So to make it thick so a very popular product is jbco jamaican black castor oil main event yeah so it's called jamaican black castor oil so what you do is you're going to take a little bit of the oil every night so usually you have to do it twice per day in the morning and in the evening just take a little bit and then you're going to massage it on your scalp and then just run it, just a little bit of it and then run it on your hair right and uh, one other thing that i've also seen naturalists do is you know they will do a hot oil treatment with it so that's when they would warm up a little bit of the castle oil with coconut oil and then they will do, uh, they will apply it on their hair, you know, leave it on overnight, right? And then the following morning, wash it out to shampoo, deep conditioning, treatment, and everything. But the best product that I know works for um, thinning hair will be Jamaican black castor oil. So let me just quickly go to my Amazon page right now to uh, send you that link just in case, because I know there are so many. Um, JBC oil is out there, so I'm going to send you the one that I'm talking about here, Jamaican Black Castle Oil, Jamaican, Jamaican Black Castle Oil. Okay. All right. Okay. So, yeah, today's tip is going to be very brief to the point, but if you guys have any questions, you know, just type it in the comment section because, yeah, today will be the last you know, video series, and the next one will be a webinar on Tuesday. And then afterwards, I'm, I'm actually planning on finally <laughs> doing a weekly live session. So I haven't chosen the date yet. Probably, it's probably gonna be on a weekday evening such as this one. And uh, yeah, so pretty much once a week I go live and you guys can come ask me questions because for some reason I'm having issues just putting out my videos because I would, record videos and then when it comes time to edit you know polish and then publish it i just get stuck so i think you know for me the best way for me to actually get out there 
uh, with videos is to do a live video because with a live video, even though it's not perfect, you just do the thing and then it gets published. <laughs> so that's why I love live videos. Okay, so I'm gonna send you the link right now to the JPCO. All right, so there is, there it is. Yeah, so like I said, so what you have to do is you have to do it pretty much twice per day if it's possible. And because uh, Jamaican black cast oil, it's very sick, right? So just use a little bit, a little bit at a time. You're gonna massage it onto your scalp and you go, you're gonna run a little bit of it on your hair, right? And yeah, so because it's very thick, you, you wanna make sure that, you know, you don't put too much in your hair, otherwise it's gonna get very sticky, right? And one more thing you can also do will be to eat, um, you know, healthy, balanced meal, right? So let me just quickly send you that blog post that I wrote about, you know, top 10 power foods. Because sometimes the reason why your hair might be thinning might be because you are under a lot of stress. And on top of that, you're not eating well, right? So it's very, very, very crucial. It's really crucial that you eat a balanced diet. And so in this blog post I'm gonna send you, I talked about, you know, maintaining your stress levels, right? Uh, because sometimes, you know, the reason why our hair seems out and the reason why, you know, uh, we lose hair sometimes is because, you know, we're under a lot of stress. So if you can try as much as possible to reduce the amount of stress you're under, that's gonna help your hair to, you know, grow back sick and full as well. Okay, so just trying to find that blog post here. Our foods, our food, our food, our foods. All right, so, oops, our, all right, so for those, for those who are going to be watching the replay, again, if you have any questions, just, you know, leave it in the comment section and um, and I'm going to get a notification. And if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, just, you know, it's very easy. All you have to do is just click, right? Just click on the button and then also click on the, on the bell so that, you know, the next time I go live, you know, or a notification. Okay, so let me just post that. Okay, so many events, I just posted a link to that blog post that, you know, that shares, you know, top 10 power foods. And I also shared, you know, how to, you know, manage stress as well in that blog post, right? Because sometimes we have a really good diet, but we're just not living a healthy and active lifestyle. Okay, all right, so let me quickly jump into today's tip. Again, I'm just gonna be going straight to point here. So let's see. All right. So today's tip, first, the first tip will be to massage your scalp in the evenings, right? To to increase blood flow. Oops. So why is this thing scrolling when I'm not even scrolling it? Okay. All right. So yeah. So first tip, as usual, I'm just gonna list everything out and then I'll go back and elaborate on it. All right. So you want to massage your scalp. So I do have this uh, scalp brush. <laughs> it's not here with me. Massage your scalp in the evenings. Tip number two will be, you know, whenever you wash your hair, shampoo, whatever, you want to make sure that you use lukewarm water or room temperature water. I know sometimes, depending on where you live, if you live up north, and it's the winter time, it's really cold. Sometimes it can be very tempting to wash your hair with like boiling hot water. And that's not even healthy for your skin because it's gonna dry out your skin. It's gonna melt pretty much the natural oils in from your skin, right? So if possible, just, you know, reduce the temperature. So for me, what I love to do is I love to wash my hair over the kitchen sink, right? Because then that way, like, I don't have to worry about getting water on my skin, right? Because I think the reason why, you know, some naturalists would wash their hair with like hot water is because they don't wanna, you know, shower with like hot water, right? But if you can wash your hair over the kitchen sink, right? That it's much better uh, that way for your hair. And also for the environment because you don't have to use so much water and, and you don't have to spend so much time in the shower because sometimes, you know, you shampoo and then you have to put a product in your hair with 20 minutes and like nobody wants to wait in the shower for like 20 minutes. So it's better to just wash your hair over the kitchen sink or over the bathtub. I prefer over the kitchen sink. Okay, so the next tip, Tip number three will be to stay away from products with alcohol. Now, this can be a little bit confusing because there is a type of alcohol, actually two types of alcohol, that are actually used as a moisturizing agent, and it's called 
satirical, oh gosh, right? Satirical accord. So that's not the kind of accord that I'm talking about. That that's actually moisturizing accord, but accord so as isopropyl, isopropyl. I was a, a science student. I should know how to how to pronounce these words, but it's been a while, right? But yeah, so, but um, you want to stay away from examples, gels with alcohol, right? Hair sprays with alcohol, because what it does is that like it dries out your hair. And for us naturalists, especially type work, type person naturalists, the last thing we need is any ingredients that's gonna dry out our hair because our hair needs as much moisture as possible. All right, so the first tip I'm gonna share today will be to inspect your hair care tools. Now, this is the only tip out of the entire tip, out of pretty much the entire tip this month where I'm talking about hair tools and not just hair products, right? Because sometimes our hair tools might be drying our hair out. And so that's why I believe two days ago, I talked about you know wearing sun bonnets and always making sure that you protect your hair at night. All right, so the fifth tip and the last tip I want to share today will be to treat treat your natural hair with TLC, total loving care, right? So the same um, the same way you're going to treat your skin, you're going to treat your face, you know, the other parts of your body, treat your hair the same way as well, right? Your hair needs the total loving care. All right, so let me just quickly go into each um, tip and... Um, elaborate on each tip in a little bit more detail. Okay, so the first tip is to massage your scalp. So yesterday and the day before that, I talked about sebum, right? So sebum, it's a natural oil that our scalp produces, but as black women, our scalp doesn't produce enough sebum. And the little sebum that it produces oftentimes doesn't get to our, you know, to our hair, right? So that's why most times we have to put oil on the scalp or put oil on the hair. Otherwise, our scalp will feel too dry and it's gonna get, you know, like what I'm doing right now, it's gonna feel itchy and our hair will be dry, it'll break and it's gonna look dull and it's just not gonna look healthy. But whenever, but when you massage your scalp, but whenever you massage your scalp, what you do is you're actually washing blood flow to, you know, that section of your, of your body, of your head, pretty much, right? And so that way, your um, your scalp can produce, you know, more sebum, right? So whenever you massage, so you can use the palm of your fingers, or you could use a shampoo uh, scalp massager, right? That's what I prefer to use. So I'll just massage my scalp with it, right? Massage it, massage it, massage it. And this tip goes out to you main events, especially since you asked me about how to, you know, deal with thinning hair, right? So you want to massage your scalp, massage it, massage it, massage it for, you know, five minutes or so, right? So it's best to do this when you are sitting down somewhere and not doing anything. For example, maybe, you know, you're watching TV, watching a movie on Netflix, or you're just scrolling through Instagram, or you're watching this live video. You could just, you know, while watching, you could just, you know, use that time to just get the five minutes in, right? Just massage your scalp. All right, so tip number two, right, will be to never wash your hair with excessively hot water, right? Because what you're doing is you are burning your cuticles. And remember on day one, I talked about the fact that our cuticles, the reason why our hair is constantly dry is because our cuticles are open, right? So that's why you have high porous hair, right? But we need to close those cuticles. So whenever you use hot water to wash your hair, you are burning those cuticles, you are chipping those cuticles away and you are damaging those cuticles, meaning that your hair will forever stay dry, right? So what you need to do will be to reduce the temperature of the water you use to wash your hair. Uh, you know, when you shampoo your hair, yeah, you can use warm water to shampoo it, but whenever you, um condition it, you know, you want to use cool water, right, to, you know, sort of close those cuticles back up and so, you know, leave them all nice and flat and healthy, right? All right, so the third tip I want to share will be to stay away from alcohol. Now, there are actually good alcohols and there are bad alcohols, right? And um, there's a pinch or a few Pinterest things, and I should actually um, have a blog post about this, about, you know, good alcohols and bad alcohols, right? But examples are, uh, of the bad alcohol is isopropyl. Isopropyl. Actually, yeah, I'm going to 
type that in, right? Isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl. Isopropyl. I'm pretty sure that's what they call. Right? Isopropyl. Yeah. But uh, but the good alcohol. So actually, I'm gonna tap this. All right now. Good alcohol. Alcohol used for moisturizing. It's a tea alcohol. So, um, I'm not even sure what it's about, but that's a good alcohol. So just in case you guys are reading ingredients on your you know, uh, lip conditioning treatment, lip conditioner, whatever, and you see that alcohol, usually it's gonna come up as number two, three, four. Like it's gonna come up in the in the first five list of ingredients. That's a moisturizing alcohol, guys. So please don't you know try to get me all confused, right? So that so the cereal alcohol that that's a good alcohol, but isopropyl is a really bad alcohol. It will uh, it pretty much dries out the hair, right? So that's why you're gonna read on a lot of gel. It will say alcohol free or, or with no alcohol, right? Because alcohol dries out our hair, especially if you have type four C here. That's the last thing you want, you know, anywhere near your coils. Okay, so let's see. All right, so tip number four will be to inspect your hair care tools. By that, I mean your combs, brushes, detanglers, scissors, bobby pins, hair accessories, um, you know, the hair, what do you call it, um, hair carries or whatever it is, right? You want to check for any sharp edges, anything that, that might rupture your hair shaft, anything that might poke the cuticles, anything that might pretty much, you know, do more harm than good, right? And whenever you find any uh, any hair tool like that, best thing you do to just throw them out and get another one, right? Because hair tools are so cheap, okay? All right, and the fifth and the final tip for today will be to treat your natural hair with total loving care. Now, I get it. Fussy hair looks tough, it's strong, right? But the truth is it is extremely fragile. And that's why, you know, so many black women struggle with growing, um, growing natural hair, growing our hair naturally long, right? Because our hair, even though it looks tough, it's, you know, it breaks very easily because it's so fragile, right? Um, and it needs, you know, just, you know, uh, lots of like, Patience, right? You need to be patient, right? So anytime you know you are rushing out to go somewhere or you're just not feeling like it, you know, try not to handle your hair in those situations, right? Because our hair needs you to be gentle, soft-handed. Because guys, uh about two months ago when I got my hair done, not this one, but I got a different style, the lady was like very hard on my hair because my hair, for some reason, I would moisturize it by the time I get to the salon. It's, it's, it's like all hard again. And this woman was like really hard in which she was braiding it. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, like just because my hair is frosty, it doesn't mean it's a rock. Like my hair isn't a rock for Christ's sake, right? Yeah, because our hair looks like, it looks tough, it looks hard. So a lot of people think, okay, let me, you know, let me use all my muscles and my power to combi to do everything. But our hair, in contrary, our hair needs you know, like gentle, gentle, gentle hands, right? And you also need to be patient, patient, especially when detangling, because I get it. Detangling, um, fussy hair can be a lot of work. And that's why, you know, I recommend, you know, adding heat. Heat, um, I mean, blow dryer, right? I wish I had a portable blow dryer. So the next time I go to a salon, I'll just blow dry my hair, make it straight, make it easy for them, you know, rather than them trying to fight through my coils. Because, guys, it is not easy and it is so painful. But so yeah, to wrap everything up, right? Even though your natural hair, your first natural hair looks tough, it looks like a rock sometimes, it's actually so weak. It is so fragile, right? And that's why our hair, right? Uh, sometimes, you know, most times for most ladies, it's very hard, right? To grow our hair long, including myself, right? It's very hard to grow hair because just anything you do to it, like whenever you comb it, if you're not being gentle or, or you use the wrong tools, your hair will just do that. Like it's just gonna snap and break off, right? So 
Um, be, be very gentle with your hair. Take your time. And that uh, only style your natural hair when you have the time and when you are in the mood for it. If you're not in the mood for it, just put it in a puff, in a bun, or if you are into wigs, scarves, hats, or whatnot, just, you know, just flat it or whatnot, put on a wig, put on a, you know, kinky uh, clip or whatever, and just go out the door. And so the next time you have time for your hair, then you can do, you know, the full twist out, you know, um, braid out or whatnot, right? All right, so that, that wraps it up for uh, the four part series and also the video series for the moisture retention challenge. And remember, if, if you receive my emails, you're gonna be getting two more emails from me. So one email will be going out tomorrow, Friday, and that's when I'm gonna, I'm gonna be opening up early bird enrollment to my course, moisture retention blueprints. I just need to finalize a few things. And then on Saturday, yeah, March 30th. Yeah, so then on Saturday, March 30th, that's when I'm gonna be wrapping everything up and with an email. And I might go like very quickly on here or whatnot, but um, do I have anything? Yeah, so maybe on Saturday morning, I might go like very quickly just to answer some, some FAQs. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you so much for uh, for joining me in live. And Majora, thank you also for, you know, for coming on here and joining me here live. I really enjoyed this series, Big Chop, Last Month of Into Normal. Oh, wow. Congratulations on your Big Chop. And as a matter of fact, I have a blog post um, about um, Newbie Naturalista series. I believe I have, it, uh, I have a series of blog posts on transitioning slash new naturals. Oh, yeah, there it is. Beginners and transitioning, right? Okay, so let me just click on that, new this transitioning. And I have, you know, quite a few blog posts on there to help you, you know, get started as a beginner natural. Let me just quickly post that link here. All right. <clears throat> yeah, so that's the blog post majority. Yeah, so it has a series of blog, uh, blog posts about, you know, beginner naturals, transitioning, hair growth, moisture retention, science of natural hair. And I'm also going to recommend to, you know, to check out uh, moisture retention blueprint, I'm going to be opening up opening it up for enrollment tomorrow uh, because that's where I go in, in more detail about you know moisture retention. And uh, I'm not sure if you've taken my free hair growth course, so free for c hair growth course. I always post a link to you know to get in on the course, you know, in the in the description box, you know, below every video. And I've been doing that pretty much. All week, so the link to get into that course it's right there. So it's a completely free course. It's about an hour long and about ten videos in total. I believe about eight on eight to ten videos in total. So and again, you're gonna learn about you know natural hair growth, especially for C natural hair growth. All right, ladies, thank you so much for joining me live on here. So again, like I said, this is going to be the last video series um, for the uh, 30 days moisture retention challenge. Tomorrow, an email will go out, and then on Saturday, I might I might um, hop in here for a few minutes just to answer some FAQs. And then on Tuesday, yeah, so Tuesday will be when I'm going to be having that webinar. So my webinars are usually about an hour long or so, right? So that's where, you know, I put together, you know, um, a series of PowerPoint slides and then I present it. And then, you know, where I share with you guys um, a hair, um, hair resource, hair knowledge, whatever it is you want to call it. All right, guys. So once again, thank you so much for joining me live. And for those that are going to be watching the replay, you can just, uh, if you have any questions, just leave it below the 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 video in the comment section below. And if this video helped you out in one way or the other, if you can do me a favor and just click on that share button and share the video out on your Facebook uh, timeline so that your other naturalist friends can also come and learn what you just learned today um, in just a few minutes. All right, guys, so I'll see you in your inbox. Take care and bye-bye.